Mark, a 26th ranking title, seven frames in a row against Ronnie to win the Tour Championship. What a perfect build-up for the Crucible. Um, yeah, it's a good build-up for confidence. Um, you know, it was a massive win for me, really, and the way, and the way I won it as well. You know, beating one, two, and three players in the world, so something you know wouldn't expect it to be honest. I was playing pool uh, for two weeks before that, you know, and didn't even see much. Look, okay, so to come, uh, to come and win our tournament, it's got to probably be up there with one of the best wins, really. And you've won two massive events live on ITV this season. You're 49 years of age. It's extraordinary that you're still able to perform at the peak of your powers all those decades after turning pro. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, you know, like, like I said in the last ITV event, it could possibly be my last one and I won it. So it is my last ITV event. What a tournament to win. And, you know, you've got to treat every tournament as, as, as your last one because, you know, I'm 49, nearly 50. And I get the sense sometimes you you play like a man who's got nothing to lose because you've already won everything. You're, you know, people love watching you. You're, you're revered in the game. That makes you a very dangerous opponent. Yeah, but um, it does. Yeah, but I'm not playing um, like I got nothing to lose or anything. I've always played like that since the start before I ever won any tournament. You know, I tried my best play, uh, and if I lost, I never really worried about it, and I, I never have growing up. And you know, maybe that's why the reason I've won. The torments I have because I'm the same now as back then. I never take myself seriously, I never worry about losing. I don't care about losing. If I lose, so what? Doesn't make any difference. Try your best, and uh, that's all you can do. And, uh, and, and I've always been like that, and I still am. Try my best, and if I win, fantastic. If I lose, so what? It doesn't matter. 26 years you've been coming to the Crucible every April. That's over half your life. It's, it's an amazing, uh, amazing stat. Do you still get the buzz walking down those stairs when you get the introduction, or is it water off a duck's um, back these days? Look, people ain't going to believe me. I, I never got a buzz from walking down the stairs. I mean, of any venue, it's, it's just another tournament. You know, just because it's the Crucible and World Championships it doesn't make any difference, really. I mean, people say, you know, when they're driving up, when they come around the corner, they see the crucible, they get butterflies. I've never had it in my life. And obviously, I'm never going to have it in my life now because I've never had it. And, uh, so I don't know what that feels like. I just turn up, every, treat every venue as the same, try my best in every one. And, and just because it's the World Championship, I don't try any harder because it's impossible for me to try any harder as if I'm playing in a, against Jackson in a club first to 10 or you yeah, play exactly the same. And you mentioned Jackson there. What a fantastic year for Welsh players. Six have made it through to the last 32. There were some brilliant performances at the qualifiers. Um, yeah, I didn't see much of the qualifiers. Uh, you know, I watched a couple of frames of Jackson in, a la in the last match to qualify, and you know he's done really well because you know he was going to China two tournaments ago. It was 50-50 whether he was going to keep his tour card, to be honest, and he ended up beating John Higgins, started on a good run, got the semis, and obviously qualified for the world, which bumps him up to probably low 40s now or maybe high 30s I'm not sure but you know now he can kick on and, and next year I wouldn't be surprised if he's in a top 32 and, and bashing everyone about Does it give you a little sense of pride when, when Jackson does well because you know he understandably he really looks up to you and, and, and he's yeah. picked up some great nuggets from you to, to improve his own game Yeah but it was weird because when, when I play um, you know, I, I, very, very, very rare. I'm ever shaking or my heart's pounding. Just don't happen. I'm, I'm not like sweating or nervous. But when I'm watching him and I want to win, my hands go all sweaty, my heart starts pounding. And I think to myself, Jesus. But I mean, if I was like this playing myself, I could, it's no way I could play. Uh, but it's just weird because I'm watching him and I want him to win so much. I'm under pressure then. I'm sweating and my heart's, everything's going. I'm thinking, Phew. but uh, I want like. I wouldn't like that feeling and playing myself. Well, that gives you a little insight into how Joe must feel all those years Absolutely. when she's watching you. I, 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 I'll be honest, if I felt like that, I don't know how I'd be able to play under pressure because, you know, I never, my art. It's like when I'm playing a game of cards. You know, I can only be playing for like, you know, one pound, two pound blind. It could be 30 pound in a pot playing poker and I open up a pair of aces. I can't stop my art pounding. <laughs> I mean, it's only 20 pound in the pot and my art is going, how am I going to play these? My hands start sweating and looking around thinking, 
how do I play these? But when I play snooker, lucky enough, I don't get none of that. Otherwise, I'd have no chance. Will you watch his match against Ronnie? Yeah, absolutely. If I if I win my first game, still up there, of course I watch. I'll try and go in and watch as much as I can because it's going to be an unbelievable occasion for him. You know, playing. Look, it's the worst draw you can possibly have. He's in the worst half of the draw you can possibly be in the bottom half, and he's got the worst draw you can have. But like I said to him, just go out there, enjoy it. Don't expect you know miracles or anything. Go out there, play your best. Everyone's got a chance. Uh, just enjoy it. And what about your first round opponent, Si Jawi? He won 10 on the spin uh, from 4 0 down to book his place at the Crucible. And of course, he had that incredible run to the semis last year. When he, when he gets on a roll, he's a dangerous player. Yeah, very dangerous. But everyone's dangerous. Um, I'm lucky enough that uh, I don't play the, pawn, the opponent. I don't really care about the opponent. I play the balls to try and get first to 10. If he gets to 10 before me, shake his hand, good luck, off I go. Um, the player it really should be irrelevant, you know, just play the balls. Very best of luck, Mark. It's always a more entertaining you, tournament when you're in it. I'm not sure about that. Cheers, Willow.